it's like being in a big oven that's uh, you can't see two, you know, two inches in front of you. An early morning apartment fire claims the life of a 42-year-old New Holstein woman and leaves several others searching for a place to stay. The blaze raged all morning. And it also sent four other people to the hospital. It happened in the downtown area of New Holstein, which is in Calumet County. It's a multi-unit apartment building on Railroad Street near Wisconsin Avenue. Now, Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht was on the scene this morning. She joins us now. And Kelly, some of the people got out of this fire. What did they tell you? Michelle, neighbors described hallways and apartments that were thick with smoke. And they're calling the woman who died a hero. Sirens sounded around 645 Friday morning as smoke billowed out of this new Holstein apartment building. It sent people in town frantically searching for their loved ones. And I just got up really fast and Gary started calling the hospital and they won't let us know anything right now. And I come running up here to try to talk to someone to find out if, if they all made it out. Four people got out with the help from a fast first responder. A firefighter, the first firefighter that showed up uh, ran down the street and got a ladder and that's how we got out. Ronald Zimmerman escaped the flames from his upper level apartment. Even though he lost his pet cat, his wallet and his cell phone, Zimmerman says he's lucky to be alive. Uh, I was sleeping. I heard pounding on my door. Uh, I, th I believe the one that deceased is the one that I, I, I was with her for a while and then I lost her in the smoke. So I had to break my window out in order to get out, and that's the last I heard of her. So. New Holstein police say 42-year-old Nicole Masucci never made it out of the building. Her neighbors say they did because of her help. A very good friend of mine, so she's a hero. Fire crews from several nearby agencies worked into the afternoon to extinguish the fire. The, the challenge is the roof fell in and we're having trouble getting the, the roof. It's actually in between the ceiling and the roof right now. And then we're going to be pulling the roof off here shortly. Firefighters don't know what started the fire, but they say it started in a kitchen area on the lower level. Investigators from the State Fire Marshal Office and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms are looking into the cause. Police say four other victims were treated at the hospital and they've been released. The Red Cross is helping them out.